we're getting there. Yeah. Guess who's living rent free? Yeah, it's me. Zeus, I'm feeling good. Everything's alright. I got my head high, and I'm shining all bright like a light. Walking down the street, people looking at me, and I don't really care what they say, cause I'm living rent free. Yeah, I said I'm living rent free. Bring me down, la la la, standing tall and proud. La la la, living life how I wanna. La la la, can't nobody tell me I can't. I got my crew with me, we're unstoppable. Making moves and achieving the impossible. Haters wanna hate, but we don't listen. We gonna keep doing what we do and keep winning. Life's too short to be living in fear. Gotta take chances and persevere. Don't let nobody hold you back, keep pushing forward. Stay on track, don't make me have to play back. I'm living rent free. Welcome, 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 ladies and gentlemen, to this very brief episode of the uh, Closet of Truth. Greetings, all of you. Um, you know, you know why I got this picture? You know why I got this picture of Donald Trump right there? Uh, Trump supporters. It's because I want you to take a look at it. Take a look at it. Uh, this is what we call, in my neck of the woods, a criminal. This, this is a real criminal right here. Now, yeah, so, so word around town is that President Biden was supposedly implicated in some sort of scheme with this Devin Archer guy, right? You heard about this Devin Archer guy? Oh! Right, so <clears throat> let's talk about this Devin Archer uh, meeting that came up today, uh, and, and I went into one of my friends on the right's live, and they tried to convince me that there was something suspicious about a father calling his son 20 times to check on him. How many of you out there think President Biden is guilty after uh, hearing what Devin Archer was talking about? Anybody out there still think President Biden uh, is guilty? Does anyone out there still think President Biden is guilty? All right. All right. Because, you know, I, I saw something that made me jump right up. And I said, I got to go to the my, to the community on TikTok uh, and, and, and make sure we're all on the same page uh, about what President Biden was calling his son for. All right. And Dan Goldman, he said it very plainly. And you all should have listened to what Dan Goldman had to say. He he made it clear Biden wasn't engaging in any any form of illegal conduct at all. He was just checking on his son. Uh, click, click. Are you there? Click, click. Don't send me another video about the Bidens because this, as far as I'm concerned, this absolves President Biden here on out. Not another word, MAGA, about President Biden. The real criminal you're looking for is this guy right here. I mean, for goodness sake, why does he put his why does he put orange makeup on? That's a dead giveaway. Anybody that wakes up every day and puts orange makeup on is a criminal. All right, let me say that again. Anybody that wakes up every day and puts on orange makeup is a criminal. And that's this guy. Uh, but let's listen to what Dan, let's, let's listen to what Dan Goldman today said that completely exonerates President Biden. Listen, what this, listen up. Describe that there. Uh, uh, he did describe that there were a, a, approximately twenty occasions over the course of their uh, nearly decade-long business relationship. Okay. 20 occasions over a decades-long relationship. 
Is this what this whole 20 times call you were talking about was? You know how many times you could call somebody over 20 years? I mean, 20 times over, I mean, 10 years. Calling someone 20 times over 10 years, that's not a lot. That's not a lot, MAGA. Once again, yeah. Once again, MAGA, you have lost all credibility with me. I thought I thought today we were going to get the smoking gun evidence, but what what we got is nothing. Where when one of them called the other, um, that Hunter Biden would uh, ask his father to say hello to whomever he was at dinner. He said there were sometimes when it was friends, and sometimes when it was uh, potential business partners or business partners. So so you imagine Hunter Biden is just hanging out with friends and occasionally his dad calls and he says, hey dad, say hello. I mean, after all, his dad is President Biden at the time vice president. I mean, wouldn't you do that, MAGA? Wouldn't you do that if your dad was somehow tied to the executive branch of government? Wouldn't it be okay to just say, hey, you don't think Biden's my dad? Look at this. See, MAGA, your head is all in the wrong space. You think you're so smart, you think you got Biden, but once again, you came up empty-handed. But the witness was unequivocal and stated very clearly that they never discussed any business on that phone conversations. They you hear that? They never discussed any business on that phone conversation. So as far as I'm concerned, MAGA... Donald J. Trump still is and will always remain the criminal. How, how, does that, how does that prove Biden lied? Seriously. I mean, I hate doing other people's homework for them. So explain to me how this proves Biden lied. You, got, you can't be this ridiculous, MAGA. Really? Hello, uh, the, real, the real greeting. It proves nothing. Exactly. Once again... You can see Biden's crimes through this, but you can't see any of Donald Trump's MAGA. MAGA. This is why this is why I say you've lost all credibility and you owe the United States of America an apology. You're still out here endorsing this guy, the one that actually tried to delete the server, right? It's Donald Trump, not Hillary Clinton, that wanted to delete the server. It's Donald Trump that's totally corrupt and taking money from foreign countries, not Joe Biden. I wasn't always this way with MAGA, but the gloves are now off. Everyone knows he's, and I wouldn't have said this three weeks ago. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have said it. I was actually very kind to him. I was kind. I was very kind to him, but now we can't be kind anymore because the gloves are off. The gloves are off with MAGA. The jar has been opened. He's taken millions of dollars from other countries like China. He's totally compromised. He has. He has. He's taken millions and millions of dollars from other countries. You have no proof to support any of your claims against President Joseph R. Biden. By the way, God bless President Biden and his Vice President Kamala Harris. Right, let's give them a round of applause. All right. <laughs> MAGA, listen up. Listen to what Dan Goldman has said about this, this guy, Devin Archer. Listen to what he says. There were niceties, and there was a hello, and there we talked about the weather, or whatever it was, the weather. but there was never any business. Never. And I think it's really important to remember that during this time period that we're talking about here, Bo Biden, Hunter Biden's brother, and President Biden's son, right. became very ill with cancer and died. That was in the spring of 2015. And the witness described in vivid detail about how devastating that was to both Hunter Biden and to Joe Biden and how their communications picked up dramatically in the aftermath because Joe Biden was calling his son to check on him and Hunter Biden was calling his dad to check on him. It had nothing to do with business and that is the sum and substance of what the testimony was. So... So, so, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to know that after I heard uh, Dan Goldman give this breakdown, 
My heart went out to President Biden and his son, Hunter Biden. I said, wow, they're picking on this guy who just lost his brother to cancer. They're picking on this guy. Wow. MAGA has went to a new level of low, a level of lowness that I've never seen in my lifetime. MAGA has lost more credibility than they already had lost before this testimony came out. What I learned from this testimony is that the MAGA demon is more heartless and more ruthless than I initially thought. For you Magadonians to get out here and treat President Biden this way shows me the God that you don't serve. I'm the best. Thank you. You are as well. And I thank all of my friends who are here who bravely come into this live and, 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 and confront these MAGA demons with me, okay? Because without you, this wouldn't be possible. But this this MAGA demon business, it needs to end immediately. You've attacked our capital, MAGA. You've attacked our capital on January sixth, and now you're ta you're attacking our president, our sitting president, President Biden, and his son, and you're getting on them about twenty phone calls that occurred over a decade. <laughs> Have you no shame? Have you no respect? Have you no dignity? Shame on you, MAGA. I'm disgusted. I don't want to hear another person that claims that if you're a Trump supporter, you're far from a Christian as far as I'm concerned. You've lost all credibility. You've gotten nothing right. We still don't have any dirt on President Biden. After all of these hearings uh, with your friends, Pinky in the Brain, we still got no dirt on President Biden. You got 2020 wrong. You got, the 20, uh, you got January 6th wrong. You got midterms wrong. There was never a red wave. You got these indictments wrong. You didn't think Trump would get indicted, but he got indicted. So again, MAGA, where is your credibility? They don't have any. They don't have any. You know what they want to do? They want to be entertained. You know what MAGA does? They want to be entertained. So, so guess what they do? They go out and they watch movies like Sound of Freedom. Think about that. That's the stupidest sounding movie I've ever heard, right? Sound of Freedom? Uh... How does freedom sound? <laughs> Silly movie. They go out there and they watch these ridiculous movies and then they get on their, their, their moral high horse and they start virtue signaling all over social media. Don't you care about the kids, Zeus? Don't you care about the kids? Well, absolutely. We all care about the kids, but we know for well, we know good and well, you don't care about those kids. Look at what the governor in Texas doing to those kids that are coming across the border, okay? Look at what they're doing to those mothers. They're separating the, the kids from their parents. Yeah, MAGA, no credibility, none. And it gets worse when you're talking about these folks. These, are, these I call them hypocrites. I really do. And they're, they're proud hypocrites. They love Donald J. Trump. They send Donald Trump all their money. They send Donald Trump all their money and then they get on TikTok and start crying about how bad the economy is. I had one guy, all right, he came into, I went into his live and he told me his 401k, his 401k was doing very terribly. Zeus, my 401k, I had, I had, what did he say? I had $90,000 when Trump was in office, okay? But now that Biden is in office, I only got $60,000. Oh! <laughs> so, well, you know what I, I know, I know. Well, you know what I told him, right? I said, listen, if you would quit sending Trump your money, you would have your 401k. <laughs> <laughs> crying that you're broke MAGA you get out here you're broke but you sure have no problem going out here buying a Chevy pickup truck 
spraying Joe Biden's name all over it. F Joe Biden is what they put on there. You have no problem wasting your money on that kind of nonsense. But all of a sudden, all of a sudden, now you want to cry about Bidenomics. They throw out words like it's Biden's inflation. I can't afford any gas. I can't afford no eggs. I can't put bread on the table for my family, Zeus. You can't do any of that, but you can jack up your Ford pickup truck and use it to attack the United States Capitol. What a shame, MAGA. What a shame. Oh! You know what? I'm starting to think a lot of you Trump supporters, you don't deserve to have a president as good as President Biden. You deserve every ounce of Donald Trump. And I and it's my hope. It really is. It is my hope that you get as much Donald Trump as you want. And that's why I've been saying what I've been saying to the Trump supporters. Do me a huge favor. All right. Listen up very closely. Go to your bank right now and empty it all out. Empty it out right now for this guy. MAGA, can you do this for me? Empty out your bank account right now and send it to Donald Trump's campaign. Can you do that for me, MAGA? Oh, don't say no way. Don't say no way. Don't you dare say no way. Send Donald Trump all that you have. Don't pay your rent. Don't pay your mortgage. Don't buy food for yourself. Don't even feed the dog. Send it all to Donald Trump. Can you do that for me, MAGA? <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. I really do appreciate it. Those are some nice glasses, by the way. Uh, MAGA, because guess what? Uh, Trump needs your money if you haven't been reading the headlines. He's planning on bankrolling his campaign uh, uh, off of your donations. And basically, we all know what Trump's campaign is. How far can he run from Jack Smith? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, see, MAGA, what do you got to say about this $40 million he has spent in legal bills? Where's the outrage about that? You know good and well if Joe Biden did that, you'd be crying a river right now. You'd be singing with Justin Timberlake, wouldn't you? <laughs> So we have no dirt on Biden. We got more indictments on Donald J. Trump. Thank you, IT lady. Ratings. We got more indictments coming down the pipe for uh, Donald J. Trump because of what he did on January 6th, whether it was in D.C. or in Arizona with Fonnie Willis. And you would think these Trump supporters, you would think these Trump supporters would open up their eyes open up their ears, open up their minds, and start to go, wow, Donald Trump has really done a number on me, right? You would think they would do that, but instead, what do they do? They spend all their time on TikTok crying about President Biden and Hunter Biden and inflation and their 401ks. Yes, you're right. They are in a cult. Yeah, they are in a cult. It's a nasty cult. It's a mega demon out here, and they know it. They're losing everything. I saw one video. I saw it on the Midas Touch, and I'll bring it up every time I get the opportunity to talk about it. You got MAGA supporters now. They're on Facebook. They got low engagement. They got low ratings, low engagement. And, and you know what they try to say? They try to say, it's the Democrats that are keep, that is keeping the engagement low. It's not the Democrats that are keeping the engagement low for you Trump supporters. It's you. Nobody wants to hang out with losers. <laughs> and, you, and you've been losing for a long time. I don't know if anyone has told you, but you're starting to look like Ron DeSantis out here to me. You know you're bad. You know it's bad when you start saying stuff like, well, whenever Donald Trump makes fun of me, I consider it a good thing, right? <laughs> <laughs> You lose so much, you might as well start a new sport in the Olympics called How Much Can You Lose, right, Maga? Because you're not winning a thing. Nobody wants to hang out with folks. No one wants to hang out with a loser and, on top of that, a criminal. Who wants? Does anybody out there want to hang out with a criminal loser? Because that's what Maga is, if you ask me. A criminal loser, right? They, 
who supports Russia more? 100% of you said, 100% of you said that MAGA supports Russia more than the Russians. Well, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. <laughs> I'm not surprised. They're traitors. They're, they're seditious conspiracyers, if that's a word. They go around here. They try to they try to delete servers, but they don't know what they're doing. All right, they don't know what they're doing. <laughs> they don't know what they're doing. Uh, they make up numbers all the time. They lie about their crowd size. They they steal elections from the American people because guess what? MAGA knows the truth, and they know the truth is that they know that they're losers. <laughs> Yeah, this is a special broadcast, and that's the point I wanted to make before I get up out of here, right? MAGA, listen up. If this was a classroom, and we were all in the classroom, you would be the students in the class that, that, are, that is getting an F, right? And you know those students in the class, they're not the ones that are qualified to teach the class, right? So that's why I tell MAGA all the time. Sit your special behind down and listen to this special broadcast because you have no credibility, none whatsoever. All right. And if you're getting if you're getting upset and, and, and triggered, is that, is that a word they like to call themselves getting upset? If you're getting upset and triggered, don't blame me. Blame this guy, Donald Trump, because all I am doing is confronting that MAGA demon that is inside of you. <laughs> You know what I say to the Trump supporters when they come to my live? <laughs> I, they come to my live and they complain and they say, Zeus, we don't like your rhetoric on your platform. Uh, what you say is very divisive, right? And they, and they try to give me what I call feedback. And every time they give me this sort of feedback, the first thing I think to myself is, have you listened to your leader, Donald Trump? Are you talking... Do you say this stuff to Donald Trump? Because if you wouldn't say it to Trump, don't you dare say it to me. All right? If you wouldn't say it to Trump, don't you dare say it to me. Okay? Okay? Because, see, I'm not like Trump, all right? I'm not like Trump. I'm not going to babysit you. I'm going to tell you it like it is, all right? I'm not going to sit out here and sugarcoat it and lie to you. I'm going to tell you what it is. Right now, MAGA, you're sitting in a cult. All right. Your cult leader is Donald Trump. He wears orange makeup. He does a pullover on his hair. He's not really who he says he is. He lies all the time. He doesn't know what the truth is. And he's taking all your money to have a good time with it. All right. That's what it is, MAGA. And if you don't like that, take it up with Donald Trump. But don't try to take it up with me because I don't want to hear it. I'm not the one taking up your money. I'm not taking your money. They, they get on me like I took their money. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Hold on. They get on me like I took their money. And I'm like, I haven't, you, you, I, you haven't subscribed to Zeus. So why are you mad at me? You haven't sent me any gifts on TikTok. So why are you mad at me? I haven't touched your 401k. I haven't touched it. But I can tell you who has. This guy, Donald Trump, has. Yeah, Donald Trump has touched your 401k like it was his. Which dictator Which dictator does MAGA like the most? 87% of you said Vladimir Putin. Wow. <laughs> Do any of you Trump supporters need, a, uh, need help getting to Russia? We're really at that point. Do any of you Trump supporters need help getting to Russia? Uh, Vega, is that you? Uh, Gladiator, is that you? You need help getting to Russia? Is that what it is? You need me to start a, a GoFundMe, perhaps? <laughs> uh, okay, all right. They don't want to answer. Do y'all want to go to Russia? Do y'all want to go to Russia, MAGA? Because, listen, I'm asking for a friend. Listen, if this live is making you uncomfortable, Trump supporters... You do not have to be here, all right? Take my word for it. You can leave, all right? If you don't like this live, if you don't like this level of honesty, you can leave, all right? But you don't got to take my word for it. Listen to your leader. If you're not happy here, then you can leave. As far as I'm concerned, if you hate our country, if you're not happy here, you can leave. If you're not happy in the U.S., if you're complaining all the time, 
Very simply, you can leave. You can leave right now. Come back if you want. Don't come back. It's okay too. But if you're not happy, you can leave. America, America is done. Nobody in America wants MAGA. You're outnumbered. MAGA is the new minority, if you ask me. MAGA is the new minority, if you ask me. And they and they know that their time is up. We've seen what you have to offer this country. 88% said leave. <laughs> yeah, 88 you, you have nothing to offer this, this lovely, beautiful country called the United States. But uh, I understand it might be hard for you to get out of this country, so that's why I'm willing to work with you. But you got to get in the box and apologize. Okay, so we're going to try this exercise once again, all right? Are there any, is there anybody that is a Trump supporter or a former Trump supporter that would like to apologize? Is there anyone out there that would like to apologize? <clears throat> I'm looking right now. Any, any, hello, Yazzie, nice to see you. Hello, Angela, nice to see you. I am Cupcake, nice to see you. Are there any Magadonians out there that would like to apologize yet? I, I'm, I'm being very sincere. I will open up the box and I will allow you to come in the box and confess your sins Seek forgiveness and, of course, repent. I want the full apology, all right? Oh, all right. You asked me. They always ask me why should they apologize. I'm going to tell you why MAGA should apologize. <clears throat> MAGA has been very abusive to the United States of America and its citizens. As, and I would go one step further, to the global citizens. MAGA has been very abusive. They have been in denial, all right? And if you don't know what denial stands for, it stands for don't even notice I am lying. And they engage in blame. And blame stands for been lying and making excuses. And these are all abusive tactics that MAGA uses to drag this country down to degradation, all right? So MAGA owes the United States of America an apology. What they did on January 6th, they attacked our Capitol with those Chevy pickup trucks and those American boots, those Ford pickup trucks, those Dodge Rams. They put on the American flag. They put on the Confederate flag and they went in there and they disgraced our Capitol. They put their feet up on Nancy Pelosi's desk and they did it on national television and they did it for this guy, Donald Trump. That's why MAGA owes United States of America an apology. You've never heard of a person who supports Biden doing anything like that, have you? Have you heard of anybody that supports President Biden doing anything like that? I mean, that's why I say MAGA owes America an apology. And you have zero credibility. You're still out here lying on social media just to get people to send you gifts? Who taught you how to do that? Oh, never mind. I know. This guy. What a shame. <laughs> Yeah, so did I answer your question, uh, whoever was asking, why should you apologize? Yeah, grifter in chief. So again, uh, MAGA, is there anybody, is there anybody out there that used to be a Trump supporter that wants to come up and be an example and apologize? I know for sure Donald Trump has destroyed your life, your allegiance to Donald Trump. It has caused so much damage. And I need you to get be very be very brave. Get in the box, ignore the comments, but get in here and just simply say, Zeus and the rest of the people out here in the kingdom, I am so sorry for what I've done. And then go on and explain what you've done and seek forgiveness, all right? Uh, MAGA demons need to repent. They absolutely need to repent, all right? Because because playtime is over, the gloves are officially off, all right? You know what I like to do? And, and you can't be mad, MAGA, that Donald Trump is getting indicted. 
all right? Because Donald Trump has already gone on record. He's already gone on record to say he actually considers it a great badge of courage when he gets indicted. Every time the radical left Democrats, Marxists, communists, and fascists indict me, I consider it a great badge of courage. Right, right. So what we're doing is giving him those badges of courage that he needs in order to feel greater than he's ever felt. All right. So you can't be mad when we call him a criminal. You can't be. This is all part of the process. All right, MAGA. Uh, you can shout all you want, but whenever a person that is a MAGA supporter, you know, when they start shouting at me, you know what I first think? That's the demon inside. That's the MAGA demon, you know, getting getting uh, control of their brain and their mouth and it gets control of their hands and they just start unleashing. You know, when you got that MAGA demon, you're deranged. He's deranged. Yeah, yeah. when you got that MAGA demon, you're, you're deranged. He's deranged. Now, uh, you know, one of the things that I like to do uh, is cast out that demon, right? And you know how you cast out the MAGA demon? You want to know one of the ways you can do it is this. You bring receipts, ladies and gentlemen, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. Am I off the rails? I, I think I'm being, I think I'm being very calm and, you know, I am exercising, you know, poise and decorum, right? <laughs> In order to get that MAGA demon out, one of the things that I love doing is reading some of President Biden's accomplishments, right? So, uh, MAGA, listen up. Let me let me explain to you what a real president does when they get in the White House, okay? This is why we say God bless President Biden, and this is why we say Donald Trump should be uh, arrested and jailed immediately and spend the rest of his life in prison because these are the things that he should have done, that he should have did, that he didn't do because he spent all of his time in the White House arguing on Twitter. What a shame. What a loser. He, he was on, he was on, he was on Twitter and the golf course more than he was doing his job at the White House. Doesn't that scream red flag, right? Now let's start with the historic appointment of Supreme Court Justice Katanji Brown. Yeah, a black woman at that. Let's you could bring up that 94 crime deal all you want, but just this act alone right here, putting a black woman on the Supreme Court, that absolves all that you want to bring up about him and his checkered past. It's over. It's over. You mean to tell me Trump never had a chance to put a black woman on the Supreme Court while he was in office? He didn't have time to do that, but he had time to get impeached twice? <laughs> He didn't have time to do that, but he had time to lead an insurrection? Yeah, right. What else has he done? Oh, you know what Biden did? Appointed the first black woman as vice president, Kamala Harris. Let's go. <laughs> that MAGA demon don't like this. And I, and I would go on record to say at least Kamala Harris is way better than Mike Pence, right? <laughs> Trump supporters, who would you rather have, Kamala Harris or Mike Pence? Answer the question, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 16 million houses receive low-cost, free, high-speed internet through the Affordable Connectivity Program. Wow, I, it's like Biden really cares about America. Wow, no, you can't say none of them. Be honest. You you wanted Kamala Harris over Mike Pence, and I know you did because we saw you on January 6th. We heard you shouting, you know, do that thing to Mike Pence. I won't say it on TikTok because, you know, TikTok, they got to, you know, they got I got to keep it clean. But y'all were trying to cause harm to Mike Pence. So I already know most Trump supporters prefer Kamala Harris over Mike Pence. Uh, Biden help protect marriage for the LGBTQI plus and interracial couples through the Respect for Marriage Act. How many of you Trump supporters are out there dating interracially, right? And don't say you're not. Don't say you're not dating internet interracially, Trump supporters, because I'm on TikTok like you, and I go into these lives, and I see these Trump supporters, and they're overseas. They're in these other countries. 
okay? And I don't want to have to start screen recording you, okay? But you know who you are, Trump supporters. You love to go outside of this country to find true love, right? <laughs> Nothing is wrong with it, but I'm just pointing out that Biden, through his uh, Respect for Marriage Act, is allowing you to find true love, okay? There's no borders when it comes to love, right? So if there's no borders when it comes to love, why you want to put a border at the border between the United States and Mexico, especially when we know what you'd like to do? Come on now. I know I'm talking to somebody. <laughs> Past, uh, past executive orders uh, protecting reproductive rights, right? Right. We got to protect those reproductive rights. $1.2 trillion bipartisan infrastructure package. Wow. I've already covered Devin Archer. No crimes. 20 calls over a decade. No crimes. It's just the father checking on his son and his son checking on his father after losing a brother to cancer. There's nothing there. So Devin Archer was a big W for President Biden. But I move on. Let's move on. Um, help get more than 500 million life-saving vaccines in the arms of Americans, right? I mean, think about that. 79% of adults are vaccinated, thanks to President Biden, right? Let's give Biden a round of applause. <laughs> 369 billion dollar investment in climate change, the largest in American history through the Inflation Reduction Act. Can you say Inflation Reduction Act, MAGA? Because this is what matters. This is real solutions that are helping real Americans. Uh, Doozy 13. Yes, that was a real thing. Look it up. Uh, look it up. Okay. All right. I'm telling you the truth. $369 billion. In, oh, I said that. Ended the longest war in American history by pulling our troops out of Afghanistan. <laughs> Why did we even go into Afghanistan? Oh, because a Republican, George Bush, got us there. And it took a Democrat like President Biden to get us out. So, yes, congratulations on that. Cut childhood poverty in half through the American Rescue Plan. Wow. Winning. This is why your uh, your interactional social media is very low, MAGA, because Biden is winning. We got things that we can point to and say Biden did. You have nothing to point to that says Trump did other than you could point to his indictments and his impeachments. Okay, his indictments and his impeachments. But other than that, <laughs> we can't point out anything Trump has done to help the American people. So we're cutting childhood poverty in half through the American Rescue Plan. Achieved historically low unemployment rates after the pandemic caused them to skyrocket. 3.5% unemployment, the lowest in 50 years. <laughs> Near record low for Hispanics, near record low for African Americans, and near record low for people with disabilities. I mean, when you got all this winning going on, coming out of the White House with Biden at in, in the front seat in the commander's chair, it's a shoe in. We know he's going to get a second term. <laughs> Strengthen NATO alliance in support of Ukraine after the Russian invasion by endorsing the inclusion of world military powers, Sweden and Finland, right? Isn't it great we're strengthening NATO? <laughs> Gave Medicare the power to negotiate prescription drug prices through the Inflation Reduction Act while also reducing government health spending. Wow. <laughs> Held Vladimir Putin accountable for invading Ukraine by imposing stiff economic sanctions. All right. Oh, created more jobs in one year, 11 million, than any other president in U.S. history. <laughs> Signed 
sign the CHIPS Act and reauthorize the Violence Against Women's Act, signed the PAX Act, and reduced health care premiums under the Affordable Care Act by $800 a year as part of the American Rescue Plan. <laughs> Trump supporters, they get out here and they start crying about Biden is a criminal and they start crying about how Biden is tearing up the country. Please, please make sure you, you let them know. Uh, Zeus read almost 30 things Biden has accomplished in his first term that is helping the American people. And whoever they are, you let them know right then and there that they are a liar and that they have zero credibility. <laughs> credibility ladies and gentlemen think about this when was the last time they got something right all right and, and i'm waiting i'm really waiting for them to tell me one prediction that they got right and they just don't seem to be able to do it you know what they like to do they like to try to bring up president biden and hillary clinton and you know what i say when they bring up president biden and hillary clinton show me the docket number right everything you're accusing hillary clinton of doing show us the docket number and they can never do it they can never do it. It's like it's like they're stuck in the past. And like I said earlier, and I'm going to keep preaching on it, if your past is brighter than your future, then chances are you just might be in a cult. Uh-huh. What is that? Wait a second. Wait a second. I love paying more for everything. Well, what are you paying more for, Sam? Seriously. Yeah. What are you paying more for, Sam, that you, you weren't paying more for when Trump was in office? See, this is what I'm talking about. It's talking points you're just repeating. You have no, you have no clue what the heck you're talking about. Sam, you probably don't even buy your food. Your food. Someone buys it for you, probably your mom. So let's talk to the person that's actually spending money on groceries. You know, I had somebody come in here and I say, how much, what are you buying? I, Zeus, I spend $7 on butter. Really? Where the heck are you shopping? You shouldn't be spending no $7 on a stick of butter unless you got it like that. And a lot of you don't got it like that. So guess what? He went and got the receipt and he showed me he spent $2 on a stick of butter. And I said, what? So you're going to get on TikTok and lie about buying butter? What a shame. <laughs> You should be paying for what it costs to survive, just like every other adult. Why are you crying that you got to pay to live in the United States like everybody else? Aren't you an adult? Seriously, if you can't afford to buy butter, if you can't afford to buy eggs, then stop sending all your money to Donald Trump. <laughs> Quit sending Donald Trump your money. All right. And if you do, don't get out here and start complaining. All right. Because I don't want to hear. I don't feel sorry for those folks that get out here and start crying and saying they don't got enough money, especially when I know that they're lying that they don't got money. And then on the back end, they're, 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 they're going on to whatever Trump's website is. They get those emails. Please donate 10 percent to the boss. Right. The boss is the not the big guy, the boss. Please donate 10% to Donald Trump. He needs your money to help America be great again, right? And then this in the small print, he needs your money to help pay for his criminal defense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So listen, uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for Zeus to wrap up this live because, you know, I just wanted to make sure I got out here and I talked to all of you, the MAGA supporters, and reminded you that... Uh, Devin Archer has absolved President Biden of all crimes. I don't want to hear another thing from the Trump supporters about President Biden any longer. Because calling your son 20 times over a decade to check on him isn't a crime. That's called being a parent and a proud parent at that. Hunter Biden and his father have went through a lot of suffering with Bo Biden. All right. Losing their brother, their son to cancer, yes, that's going to cause some phone calls. And no matter where he was, made it a point to contact his father and let him know he was okay. There's nothing wrong with that, okay? Do you think Donald Trump calls his sons? Nope. 
He doesn't call his sons. You know who Donald Trump calls? Walt Nauda. Mm hmm. Carlos. <laughs> hey, I'm about to be. Uh, they've subpoenaed the footage. They subpoenaed the footage. And uh, can you do something like perhaps delete the server? That's all Trump does. Think about committing the next crime. Yeah. So uh, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for Zeus to depart. All right. And to the Trump supporters, I'll see you bright and early. To my friends as well, I'll see you bright and early, 6.30 a.m. Pacific time. Well, once again, I will be, I will be bringing down this heavy hammer of truth, making sure that we hold the, our friends on the right accountable for all their crime. All right, Brother Swervin, all right? So Trump supporters, do me a huge favor, all right? Get those knee pads and those elbow pads ready, all right? Because Jack Smith and Fonnie Willis are coming. <laughs>